Welcome to the Poly Shore Podcast Show at the Armarillo Den. We got Audrey Hepburn here. And uh, you got to give us a super tease right to the camera. What's up? Can I just call you Joe Lewis? I feel like if I say black Joe Lewis, it sounds like I'm ra- being racist. Yeah, yeah, but it says black Joe Lewis here. Yeah, whatever you go with. You got to get, clo- <laughs> get close to the mic. Whatever you go with, man. Are you good? Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. What if I call you Irish Joe Lewis? Yeah, whatever you Ladies want. Ladies and gentlemen, Irish Joe Lewis. Right to the camera. We're going to talk about career relationships. <laughs> what it's going to be like right here, dude, to the camera right here. It's called a super tease. I see it right now. That's, <laughs> it's, that's what I was saying. The producer, Jake, did a terrible job prepping you, right? Because when he was backstage, we told you what to fucking do, and you're not doing shit. What's the super tease? Super tease. Are you guys on heroin? What the fuck? You got junkies here at 2 in the afternoon. Here, I'll do, it a, I'll do it a sample. I'll do it a sample. I'll do a sample. Yo, what's up? We're here. We're going to talk about careers, relationships, what it's like on the road, touring, observational shit. Don't go anywhere. That's kind of like a super tease. Yeah, what's up? We're going to play a song? Yeah, that's later. Yeah, that's yeah. later. I can't let you go. And drop, girl, let me see your focus, though. And I said I need you. Anyways, welcome to the <laughs> welcome to the Poly Shore Podcast Show. We're here at the Amarillo Den in beautiful Austin, Texas. All right, waiters, respond and clap at that moment. <laughs> okay, thank you. Maybe we should get the fucking dogs up here. They'll respond better. Is there any seeing dogs, seeing eye dogs? Anyways, we're here with the band. We got Black Joe Lewis and the Honey Bears. Jack Bo Lewis. Jack Blow Lewis what's up, what's up, and the Honey up? Bears. Hello, hello. Anyways, before we get started, we're going to play a little bit of the band so you guys can see what they're, they're about and you can do the connecting tissue. Here we go. Black Joe Lewis and the Honey Bears. Okay, cut, cut, cut. So, so I like to say this to a lot of the bands that I interview. I'm older than you guys. Okay, <laughs> all right. So the point that I'm making is that the bands that I grew up with, the Eagles, the Rolling Stones, Led Zeppelin, the Who, the Clash, the Specials, all really good bands. Yep. And then I listen to the bands that are now, and you guys are just as good. And, it ni- and it's nice for me to feel that, that yeah, the yeah. new music is just as good as the older music. Thank you, man. I mean, I'm not saying you guys are Led Zeppelin, but you guys aren't <laughs> shitty, is my point. Thanks. You guys are good. So <laughs> what's, your shit, what's your stuff inspired by growing up as kids? Man, just life. You know, uh, you know I got into James Brown real James early. James Brown? Yeah, Lightning Hopkins. You know, uh, J- Janis Joplin, you said? Lightning Hopkins. I don't know who. Lighty Hoffman? Lightning Hopkins. Hopkins. Lightning Hopkins. Lightning I can't Hopkins. hear. <laughs> Lights. Lightning Hopkins. <laughs> Lightman Hoffman's? <laughs> what is it? Hoffman. Hopkins. Oh, Lightning Hopkins. See, okay, so you grew up, that, that's who you looked up to as Lightning Hopkins? I mean, when I started playing and stuff, you know. Lightning Hopkins is a guitarist from Houston, and it's like, when, whenever we were playing, we, were, we, we, we played by Barquet's covers, fucking uh, 
Howlin' Wolf. I mean, we played with Eddie Shaw and at one time. He was a horn player for Howlin' Wolf. We played with him a couple wow. nights in Chicago. Like, we did. <laughs> like, you should start answering the questions. Say it again. Start answering the questions, please. Uh, okay. Because he's really low, and I don't know what he's saying. So. I mean, I don't know where my levels are at either, man. Yeah. yeah. I'll try to answer. I'm the baby. There you I'm go. Trying. No, I can hear you better. I can hear you better. I'm the baby in the band. Like, no, but I can hear you better. I'm the fucking child in this <laughs> That's, room. That's all good. So, um, so Arizona, though, you guys all met in Arizona? Here, I, I grew Austin. up here, no, in here in Austin. Here in Austin. Yeah. yeah, here in yeah. Austin. Like 16, 17 years ago. Yeah, a long time ago. Long 10 time years ago. ago. Yeah. 17. 17 years ago. 16, 17. Wow. I, we had a rehearsal. Uh, there was a couple, of, there was like probably three or four people involved with the whole thing. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, we got introduced by another guy that used to be in the band. Uh -huh. And then we just started jamming, you know. So where did you come up with the name Black Joe Brown? <laughs> That's not it. <laughs> Close enough. So Black Joe Sorry, Lewis. Black Joe Lewis. <laughs> Sorry. Double racist. Uh, it's just a name. My where, name's No, Joe. where did you come up with it? But when, that's not your, is that your full name? Yeah. Well, I mean, not Black, but my name is <laughs> Joe Lewis, and I just put the Black on there. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It's the name of your band, but where did you guys come up with that name? And I just made it up one oh, day. Oh, you just made it up. Yeah. This is a stage name. Came it's not the name it. of the band. That's the performer's stage name. Yeah, that's my stage name. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Copy. Co Got yeah. it. Oh, shit. Yeah. Like Lil something. Lil Wayne. The Honey Bears. Yeah. <laughs> so, you're, I, so you guys are the Honey Bears, and this is... Yeah, he came up with yeah, that. Yeah, that was the word. I, I regret doing that. Yeah. I, <laughs> I, that was random. Yeah. That was at a... That was at one of those first rehearsals. We keep trying to get rid of the name, but we can't. <laughs> Just too much. I like I like yeah. the name. Yeah. Yeah, That's Black cool. Joe Lewis and the Honey Bears. Yeah. I think it's cool. Right. So do you guys go on tour solo? Are you open for people? What's up? Oh, we tour mostly on our own. Uh, every now and then we get to go open for people, but, you know, I mean. Solo? In, are you on a bus or are you in a van? A uh, van. Never quite made it to the bus. Mm -hmm. Bus are expensive. Yeah. Yes. It's not worth it. So what's the farthest drive you've ever done? And you get pissed Multiple off at your age. Multiple times. Do you ever, <laughs> what's the farthest Montreal. drive that you've ever done in between Mo gigs? Because you have to drive. Someone has to drive the van. Yeah, like on the way home, we did a, uh, like somewhere up in Vancouver, Salmon Arm, BC. Oh wow! Back to here. Yeah. Six hour drive, seven hour drive. Yeah, that ain't that ain't nothing. Yeah, that was like yeah. multiple days. Are you talking about in between gigs? Gigs, yes, between gigs. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. okay, in between gigs. Yeah. Trying to make it. I mean, that's we've done. I mean, California, and having to do any San Francisco to LA yeah. in a day is always a pain. Uh, maybe ass, like. But, between four and six hours. How much? Between, between four and six and hours. And who drives them since you're all in a van, or do you have a special van driver? Uh, we got a dude out there that drives, you know. The what? We take turns. Oh, you my, take turns. My homeboy is yeah. out there. Yeah. He drives got, a lot. That's some real TM, shit right there, TM, right? and we take turns, yeah. We yeah. Got a guy that's... Uh, do you guys do drugs to keep you awake? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, no, it's for the drive. Uh, Five-hour energy. Yeah. What? The, the five hour energy, the little things, or yeah, or Mio, you oh, ever the heard energy of Mio? drinks? Mio, some crazy shit. What about Adderall? No, nah, no, because no. you guys aren't studying, right? No, that's not my thing. No. <laughs> yeah, I I, I, Adderall was always just more of a recovery. I, thing. I did it once, you know? and it was fucking well, weird, right? You know, you do, it's it's useful on a hangover. You it's what? Useful on a hangover. Fucking Adderall. Adderall's useful for a hangover. Yeah, if you're. Wow. I mean, I don't recommend it. Your life is probably spinning out pretty hard. The what? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Dude, what's up with yeah, Black so Joe Lewis? He's not having it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just, he know. wants to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> to get my ass back to downtown. <laughs> so, all right. So that was the um, that was the interview portion of the podcast. Christ. Everybody, give him a round of applause. That was the oh, interview portion. You guys, this podcast doesn't work unless you're stoned or on fucking some sort of a Valium or something. <laughs> if you guys are like. Sober or some shit? This doesn't make sense. So just watch it with knowing that. Okay, sorry. So how do we do? I mean, I thought it was pretty much a fucking... I don't know. Was the dogs are barking. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm rating this segment. Um, I couldn't hear. I couldn't hear what was going on. But I don't think that's your guys' fault. Maybe these are just chillers. A lot of... <laughs> lot of in the mic, but that's okay. 
<laughs> and sometimes I, when I did hear you, it was fucking awesome. You guys are cool. But yeah, a lot of a lot of unknown uh, words, <laughs> and that's that's my biggest yeah, critique. Yeah, you weren't great, Polly. I'm not gonna lie. Polly wasn't making. You kept getting the names wrong. Polly was flailing all over the place. Amarillo you Day. guys were offended. We we were all offended. <laughs> yeah, you fucked up his name multiple times. <laughs> I'm gonna give this a one out of ten, you guys. <laughs> yeah. But you guys are still cool as fuck. <laughs> Thank good. You. All right, thanks. All right, here we go. We can't. This one we definitely can't. We're going to have to cut around. <laughs> Jake. Oh, my God. All right, now we're doing the mason jar. Give them the mason jar. Here, grab the mic. You want me to read it? Yes, sir. Dating apps with international playboy Polly Shore. All right. I, I fucking hate the, the things that they write. They're fucking terrible. Stupid as fuck. So I guess the subject is just dating apps. So we're just going to talk about dating apps unless I can tell you guys really are interested <laughs> in talking about dating apps. I think we should fucking fuck that one. So I let's agree. go into, since you guys are awesome, let's go into, t let's pretend you pick Texas with Texas tourist Polly Shore. How about that? All right. you, that's better, right, than dating apps? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. What's the best barbecue here in Texas? My dad's barbecue. Oh, wow. Where is it? It's Brownsville, Texas. Oh, Brownsville. Yeah. My dad. Whew. I've been to Brownsville. I'm so sorry. It's, no, no, it's nice. Great, great Mexican food down there. It's true. It's fucking really good. It's very close to the border. If you guys aren't familiar, all right, you guys all know. Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, so your your dad. So how long has your dad had the restaurant for? I don't know. It's not a restaurant. My you dad said, just makes it. Oh, he oh. makes it. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Well, yeah. <laughs> Fuck. So your dad makes it. Oh yeah. Some so what, ty what type of stuff does he make? Everything, man. Fucking beer batter, chicken. <laughs> so did you ever get to go to his dad's to eat some of his Mexican? So you guys no. aren't really close bandmates then. He just started playing with us about seven or eight months ago. Okay, got it. So yeah. this is new news. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <The> new <guy. laughs> first gig right. about a few years ago, but yeah. So who, who did you replace in the band? My buddy Mark. <laughs> so why isn't Mark, which instrument does Mark play? Drums. So why isn't he here? What happened? I mean, the drummers come and go. You know? I like that <laughs> shit. That was fucking Black Joe Lewis down, laying that shit down. He said, drummers can motherfucking come and go, bitch. We're going to go back to dating apps. Dating apps. Liz, we got to do the dating apps. I know you don't want to go there. It's, it's sensitive. Back in the 80s and 90s, and you were talking about babes, you'd talk, talk about it. Now you got to be like kind of resistant a little, right? Mm. Huh? You have a you have a babe or are you on dating apps? Man, I, I don't want to say. What? I don't want to say. See, <laughs> ba back in the '80s and '90s, you said I got I the babe. Got a girlfriend. Copy. What about you? <laughs> I've got a babe. You got a babe? I do. Sort of seeing someone. Sort of seeing someone. Well, now you're definitely not seeing that person. <laughs> <laughs> so, so are you on dating apps at all after you no. have your dad's Mexican food? Barbecue, how dare you? I mean, barbecue food, <laughs> sorry. Are you in your dad's? Are you in your dad's no, do you go on dating apps? No. No? Is it beneath you? No. It's just fucking weird, dude. Okay, okay. No, it's a pain in the ass. Yeah, I understand. I understand, makes sense. So, do you ever see some of these dating apps where they, um, where they say their name and their occupation and it says, just want to be friends? Like mm -hmm. women say that? Or just yeah. for friends? What's that about? Just for friends on an app, you probably just want to have sex, and you're not looking for a relationship. Yeah. Grinder, it's like all sex. Hinge, it's like you have to be a little bit more forward in messages because people are looking for relationships. So if you're like, do you? <laughs> you're looking for late relationships here in Austin, you but you don't live here. No. You, you said you're on Hinge. Oh, no, yeah, I've but never seen that. it could be for like a one-off. I don't know why I'm saying this out loud. Which Raya? Do you know what Raya is? Yes. 
Yeah, I tried to get on Raya. They turned me down. They said no. I thought that was called the league. Isn't the league? league? The league. <laughs> the league. <laughs> All right, so that was, I think that was the observational portion, right? Wolf, come here. Was that the observational portion? Yes, now we're on to Ask Polly. Yeah, so you can ask them to ask me. Hey, if you guys can have a question for Paul. Look, Wolf's even more fucked up than you guys. <laughs> <laughs> and he's the producer. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no, Biggie are two parts. <laughs> Sorry. It's usually not like this. <laughs> it's the guy in the middle. He looks like he's on heroin. If you have one question for Polly, what is it? <laughs> and be nice. Oh, what is it? Uh, Biggie or two part? Oh, shit. A two part. It's a tough one. I'm more of a biggie guy myself. Is the NFL scripted? Is NFL scripted? <laughs> yes, right there. See, this isn't fair because he's reading the questions <laughs> <laughs> that were on other Mason Jar shows that we did earlier in the week. <laughs> so that doesn't make sense. But anyways, those are good questions he asked Polly. Here we go. All right. <laughs> this is the last part of the program because that's what this has been, you guys. It's been a program. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> this is the jam part where we give you a guitar. <laughs> Do you want to sing? Hey, Polly, you going to sing? You going to sing, Polly? Um, I don't know this particular song, but it's your song, so I'm not familiar with it. But if you came out with a cla classic rock song, we would do it. He's got it. Do you want to sing it, Tim? Well, well, well. Yeah. To tell, oh. tell, tell. So, to spell, spell, spell. Walking down the main street at the night time, walking by Joe Rogan's mothership, going, fuck. Yeah. I wish I could afford to get in there. And uh, I scalp some tickets down to see Tony Hinchcliffe. And he's up there smoking his American spirits. Drinking some motherfucking whiskey. Hey, hey, hey. And some tequila on the rocks. He's turning off, off all the comedy shows. To have his escape car take him to his multi million dollar ranch. Yeah, fuck yeah. Where I'm gonna go hit, sit in a sauna. In a cold plunge and shoot my guns. Yeah. 